What's up, everybody? Jay and Ben here with our latest haul of Hot Wheels. We got these all at Target. Let's take a closer look at them. All right, Ben, hand me a car. Which one are we starting with? First up, we have a car with a special feature. It's best for the track. Car number 7 out of 10 of the X Racer series. This El Viento. El Viento is a model. It's been around for a couple of years. Uh, this one is from the, I want to say C case, but I do believe this is a release for 2018. Ben, go ahead and open it up. It's a uh, plastic see-through base. I've never seen that before. With a white metal body, plastic thing on top. The special feature is that this can come off like so, revealing the interior. Uh, anybody that remembers from 2018, the El Viento was at one point a treasure hunt for the year. Which we actually happen to have here. And if you open this one up, the Treasure Hunt logo is actually on the inside on the hood. So let's take a closer look at El Viento. Now this particular El Viento has clear uh, red wheels on it. They are in the FTE2 style, however these are not FTE2s. Um, it's a good addition if you like fantasy cars. What's our next car, Ben? The Volkswagen T2 pickup from the HW Hot Truck Series, truck number three of 10. Uh, this one looks like it's in multiple languages, so this would be from a worldwide case, so I couldn't tell you which case it's out of. As someone who loves Volkswagens, I really like these these pickups. Uh, it's the Hot Wheels hardware. Nice scratched up paint job. It's meant to look like that with the tampos and everything. Chromed out uh, bed. Chrome interior. Just regular wheels underneath. Here's the base. They've only had this one around for a couple of years. So let's take a closer look at it. Now this one is in like a, like a faded aqua or green color. Uh, if you've been following the 2019 cases, there actually is a super treasure hunt of this vehicle this year. I'm still searching far and wide for that one. And uh, if you're a Volkswagen fan, this is a good one to add to your collection. What's next, Ben? Continuing with the fact that I'm a Volkswagen fan, I finally found a cool combi. These things are never on the shelf anywhere you go. This one's from the HW Art Cars series, number eight of 10. It's a 2018 release, as you can tell from the 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels here. Uh, specifically, this one, Looks like it was out of the, I'm gonna say A case. I honestly couldn't tell you, but I don't see anything indicating that this is an international package. So it's usually the letter up here that tells you which case it's out of. Now the cool combi is super popular with collectors. Like I said, I finally found one because you can never find these things in store. They're always, scooped right off the shelf and of course the cool combi uh i believe it was last year was also at one point a treasure hunt might have been the year before it's got these blue and and yellow wheels definitely uh with a 60s hippie vibe surfboard sticking out the back it's got an orange plastic base uh metal gray body with the tampos all over it 
It says uh, Hot Wheels right on top. Let's take a nice look at it. Got a blue interior. And a little tiny Hot Wheels logo under the windows. Done in blue. Uh, it's just a fun vehicle and I'm glad I finally found one and I hope to find more. Ben, what do we got next? Oh, one of our favorites. The new Carbonator from the X Racers line, car number four of ten. I do believe this one is out of the 2019 C case, but I may be wrong. Uh, as usual, it's sporting a metal base with a see-through plastic body. Ben, if you want to go ahead and open it, since this one is yours. I like the car, not the packaging. Uh, this one has a metal flake purple base on it. These clear open five spoke wheels. Yellow see through carbonator bottle. And a blue plastic uh, accent and interior piece. Of course, you know the carbonator can be used to open up an actual bottle of uh, soda or whatever you want to drink. Here's a slightly better look at it. Got a uh, big chrome, looks like a booster on the back. Kind of like the Batmobile in that aspect. Uh, it's pretty good on the track and pretty fast. And, I mean, if you've already got several carbonators like we do, why not get another one? What we got next, kiddo? It was rather quick. Oh, another one of Ben's cars from one of his favorite video games. We have Octane from Rocket League. HW Game Over series, car number 105, new for 2019, out of the, looks like the D case. Of course, when you have a new car, there's something written on the back every time. Go ahead and pause on that to read it if you like. This one features a plastic base, I'm assuming, with a metal blue body. Go ahead and open her up then. And I would be correct. This has a plastic base with a metal flake blue body. You got the Rocket League logo on the side here. Big chrome like thrusters on the back. Uh, anybody that plays Rocket League will recognize this car. This is one of their cars original to the game. As Ben just informed me, this is the default car in Rocket League. So I guess it's the car that you start with. It's got uh, just standard five spoke, they're closed wheels on it. The wheels are in gray. Uh, I mean, it pretty much just looks just like the Octane from the game. What's next, Ben? Next up, we have one of mine, another Skull Shaker, this one in red, from the Xperia Motor series, car number eight of 10, released 2018, so last year. It still feels kind of weird saying last year for 2018, it was only a short while ago. Uh, as a new for 2018 car, it always comes with something written on the back. So go ahead and pause on there. This particular one, I couldn't tell you what case it was from. I'm not sure if it's the C case or the A case. It's basically just a miniature bone shaker with this guy driving it. And as he goes, he's, he wobbles back and forth. We've covered this before. There's something on this t wheel here. You can just barely see it there that clips the, the piece of plastic as he's going down and shakes him back and forth. Like the shark bite one, but as Ben just informed me. Now this one is 
black on the base. There's the base for you. Almost forgot to do that. Plastic black base with a enamel red metal body, chrome fittings, and of course the big gray driver. What you got for me next, Ben? Another one from my collection, one of my favorites from the HW Speed Graphics series, car number seven out of 10. Uh, this one is a 2019 release and I'm gonna say it's the D case. Mostly because I believe I just saw it unboxed from a D case on another channel. But this is the 68 Chevy Nova with the golf markings. And I just really like golf racing markings. I try to collect these cars whenever I see them. Now the 68 Nova casting has been around for a while. They still haven't made the packaging any easier to open up. <clears throat> but this, this one has slightly larger wheels in the rear than it does in the front. They are the closed five spoke. They have gold chrome lines on them. You can see the golf racing markings with Goodyear boasting that it has a 350 under the hood chrome base and you can just make out that this casting has been around since 2008 uh, once again truly one of my favorites I really like the golf racing uh, race team markings and like that uh, this one's got a chrome front end chrome back end looks like a chrome interior as well just a overall pretty cool car. All right, Ben, as we continue to chug along, what else you got? Now he handed me this one very quick. We're going back to my Volkswagens. Number one of 10 of the new Volkswagen collection. We have the 2019 release of the Volkswagen Kafer Racer with the yellow and the moon eyes marking out of the couldn't tell you which case because this one came out of an international case kind of weird how target gets both american and international cases but it is what it is now if you follow the channel you know we did a whole episode of random car review on the k for racer so i'm not going to go into too much detail on this it's got the close spoke five spoke uh chrome wheels here Got a black plastic base, been around for a couple of years now. Moon Eyes markings along with Goodyear. Just another car, and a, another great car. And of course, I like Volkswagen, so. Got a, uh, wanna say a silver or gray interior. Overall, it's just another great addition to my Volkswagens, let alone my Kafer Racers. I have like, I think this makes six of them now. So. All right, Ben, what do you got next for me? <laughs> Yet another Volkswagen for my collection. I don't know why Ben keeps doing this. I got a whole bunch of Volkswagens, didn't I? Number eight of 10, we have the custom Volkswagen Beetle. It's number eight of 10 in the Volkswagen set. Again, this is a release for 2019. Uh, looks like the D case. It is not a new release. It, I guess I, I, it looks as though sometimes it's been retooled. Let's see if I can get it open here. This one has a luggage rack on top but I swear I've seen it with other things on top or even nothing on top as well. But we have the Volkswagen, custom Volkswagen Beetle. Looks like it was made to look like it's scratched up on the side. Wheels got white stripes on them. It's got a, pla a black plastic base. You can see this particular, this particular tooling has been around since 2015. The exhaust pipes out the back split window in the back too which is cool and it, I mean it looks like it's been made to be scratched up and mudded with the tampos that are on it again overall it's just a great addition to my Volkswagens 
Uh, this one, like the Kafer, has a gray or silver interior. I'm going to say it's silver to because I think it's part of the same piece as the exhaust pipes. And you can just make out a small Hot Wheels logo on the door. What do we got next, Ben? Winding down here. Another addition to Ben's collection from HW Race Day, car number 5 of 10. This is a uh, car from the D case of 2019. We have the Dodge Charger stock car. It actually surprised me that Ben bought this, but he wanted it. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ben gets to open his own cars. Big Mopar logo on the hood. Car number six. There was another number six, wasn't it? Was it Mark Martin number six? Ben's shaking his head and saying no. He, he hates that I constantly bring up Mark Martin. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's got yellow stripes on the wheels. It is a metal body with a with a gray plastic base. You can see that it was re recently retooled for this year. I do believe they use this for other things like their NASCAR line as well. Uh, if you look on the side here, so I can get it to focus on it. You got all kinds of Tampos. Goodyear, Brembo, Summit. So yeah, pretty cool. All in all, it's a fun addition if you're a NASCAR fan. Like, I don't think this is an actual NASCAR car, but... I mean, I wouldn't know. I'm not a huge NASCAR fan. But it's still a fun car to add. All right, Ben. And we have up... Ah, nice one. From the Muscle Mania series, car number 5 of 10. Uh, this is a new release for 2019 out of the... I'm going to say it was out of the A case this year. This particular packaging is from an international case. Um, yeah, but we have the 2018 Copo Camaro Super Sport. This one's got a little bit more detail than we're used to on it, though. Uh, still looks like they stick, they stuck to the three sides tampo work on this one. Then go ahead and open it up. Uh, looks like it's made for drag. It's got the uh, the shoot the sh parachute release on the back, along with the uh, wheelie bar. A gray plastic base. A metal body that is in that that orange that Chevy was offering on the Hot Wheels Edition Camaro. Fiftieth anniversary of Hot Wheels. This is the Copo. Got a gray and kind of like a deep gray and silver stripe along the top. Just a very cool looking car. It's got just standard wheels on it that are gray. I would have liked to have seen some tampo work maybe in the headlights or the taillights, but Mattel and Hot Wheels does have a policy about the tampos and they usually only stick to three sides of the car as I found out in another channel's video just the other day. And what's our last car for today, Ben? Leave it to Ben to save this for the last. Sorry, folks. From the Dino Rider series, number 105, this is a release out of the, I want to say, C case for 2019. Motosaurus, it's a Stegosaurus on wheels. Go ahead and open it up, Ben. So 
<laughs> Ben's over here complaining about how big the packaging is. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this one wouldn't be good for the track. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this one wouldn't be good for the track. It's not necessarily built for loops and curves. Uh, it's got the dy dyno head here. This is all one orange piece sticking out of it. The spines are actually very flexible. Um, got a Hot Wheels logo and some scale markings. This is a blue plastic, like an aqua blue plastic base. You see it's been around since 2016. With a metal gray body and then a orange plastic insert and tail pipes coming out of the dinosaur's rear end. It's got blue chromed out closed five spoke wheels. It's just a fun car. So there's a Stegosaurus on wheels. So there you go. There's our latest Hot Wheels haul. It's a small 12 car haul from Target. Uh, later this week, we'll put them down the track in a video, see which one's the fastest. Also, stay tuned this week. I'm going to finally get around to the Challenge the Champ episode and maybe even the uh, random car review that I've been saying I was going to do and just haven't gotten around to it. Um, anyways, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Go out there, play with your kids, spend time with your kids, take interest in what your kids like to do. And as always, we'll see you next time.